<laughs> Yo, what's up? Today, we're gonna be taking your stream from this to this. Well, let's get ba 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 -rudal. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy. Bootytron! I've been told that that's copying PewDiePie. It probably kind of is, but tell me down in the comments below if I should change my intro. So today, I'm gonna be going over how to step up your streaming game and kind of upgrade the look of your stream from kind of like the janky beginner streamer to a more refined, better looking stream. Let's get into this. So this is gonna be a different kind of video. It's all gonna be done via screen recording, so Bear with me, but this is how we're gonna do this tutorial. So most of you, when you start out streaming, when you're using OBS, you're probably gonna have like a really bare bones kind of setup. Like you've got your game in the background here and then you've got your camera. When you have a setup like this, it's it's just too minimal. Like it's just, it's not enough. It just, it looks sloppy. Like, I don't know, like it just, it just screams new. Especially when your camera is this big and it's taking up this much of the gameplay, cause that's what you gotta remember. Like that's what people are here for. They're here to see the gameplay. They're not here to just see you in your bedroom in the background. And yeah, this is this is a bedroom. This is like most people set up, so get over it. The main point that I wanna get across in this video is I see a lot of people, they'll have this first setup here and they're like, okay, bare bones, this is how you get started in streaming. Uh, especially when you stream directly from the console. Like if you're streaming directly from like your PlayStation or your Xbox, this is basically it. Like you get this, you might get like uh, your alert overlays, but that it's very basic. So the first thing people do when they get into customizing their stream is they go a little overboard and they go into something like this. This might look cool to uh, to you when, when you first get crazy with editing your stream. People wanna put like their hot Spotify playlist. They wanna have like their sub goal. They wanna put like a big ass button like slaying, I don't know, like some some event that they're they're putting on for themselves, a big ass chat window here, some like gifts up in the corner. This is also just as janky. Like this is, this also screams noob to me super hard uh, when I see streams like this. When you got like a bunch of like really tacky stuff just like thrown into your stream. And it just tells me like this person just got used to adding a bunch of stuff to their stream and they just went a little overboard. All right. So I'm aware that looks are subjective and that might look really cool to some of you, but to be honest, to get a gauge of where things are currently with the trend, I would look at some of your favorite streamer streams and compare yourself. So if you're overdoing it, then scale it back a little bit. And if you're underdoing it, you can afford to scale it up a little bit. Let's keep going. So you could do this as well. So you know what, like I don't really mind having like, I just put this picture of a chat here cause I can't really have like interactive chat while I'm doing this, but I don't mind having like a big chat window and then that just shows like your interaction with your chat. But like, it, I don't know, like I just don't like it when it's like too big and it's just taking over the screen a little bit. Like if I were to make this a little bit better, I would maybe take the chat window and I would make it the same size as my camera so it falls in line with my camera. So like I've got a center here and it should all fall in line with each other. Like this like big slang button, like get rid of that. You don't like you don't want that. If anything at the bottom right hand corner you should put like a watermark. So like your your Twitter handle or your Instagram. My best advice to you if you can is if you have like if you're building a brand for yourself. So like me, I'm Fornitron. So all of my stuff is at Fornitron. The only thing that isn't at Fornitron is Twitch and it drives me nuts and I have to be Jimmy Fornitron, which is a pain in my ass, but hey, maybe one day I'll be able to take over at Fornitron for Twitch. You kind of want everything to line up the same. That way you can make a watermark and it's just your at whatever, and then you can put logos for the different places that you're featured on. Sub goals, I, I know a lot of tutorials or a lot of like, how to get people more engaged in your stream tell you to put like a sub goal. I don't know, like especially when you're starting out in the beginning and, you, and you're struggling to get like more than one to three viewers, I don't think you need a sub goal being shoved down their throats. Like I think that's something for like when you started to build a following and maybe you've got a sub goal for a certain reason. So like I see some people, they'll put a sub goal because 
they want to get like a new DSLR so the stream looks better and then they'll have a sub goal for that. I don't know. But in the start when like you're not averaging any more than 10 viewers, like I don't know, get that out of there. You don't you really don't need that. Like I said, I would save sub goals to like when you when you've got like an actual following and people are like invested in your stream, people like are aligned with your brand of what you're trying to do on Twitch. The whole Spotify playlist thing, I don't know. Like I I personally don't care for, for it. I, I don't care what hot tracks you're listening to. Um, most times people are just listening to like non-copyright strike, like lo-fi music and it just all kind of sounds the same. I personally don't think you need that on there unless you're like some kind of DJ, I don't know. And you're, I don't, but you'll get DMCA strike anyway if you're playing like modern songs but I would personally just take that off. Like no one no one cares about your hot Spotify playlist, get that out of there. And like these distracting gifts at the top, like you might have like, I don't know, you might have some, you can have something fun if it's like unique to you and your channel, like something that you have come up often. Maybe it's like a little gif of like your character in your game. I don't know, you can have that, but make it tasteful. So I would move this to like the bottom left like get rid of one of them. Like you don't need both, but like move it to the bottom left and then you could put something else there. I don't know, like you could you could have that and that makes it a little bit more unique. Look at how much better this looks. So before it was just way too tacky, way too much stuff. And then now it's looking a lot better. I personally am not a fan of these behind the camera things. So I'm gonna show you this real quick here. So this is my webcam and then when you take that off, I'm still here, but you've got this background behind it and it's kind of like a border for your webcam. And a lot of people will have these and they're kind of tacky. Like they'll have them like be like really obnoxious and like, ha like be animated and stuff. I'm not into that either because I don't know, that's just like pointing more attention to you. And again, you are the personality behind the stream, but the main star of the show is the game. It's not you. So quit being a narcissist and get rid of like this like over the top kind of camera border. You don't need that. And also take advantage of the fact that you can transform your camera. So a lot of people will have like the full width of their webcam, but you don't need to see like any of this crap over here or any of this crap over here. Like why are we doing that? So what you can do is you can just right click on your camera and you go to transform here and then go to edit transform and start chopping stuff off of the left and right of your camera. There we go. So you can just chop off the left and right and then get it a little bit more so it's just you. So this looks a lot better already. And then you're probably thinking like, well, what about my, my cool hot border here? Well, you can just shrink that down as well. So let's just move that down a little bit. So I don't like a lot of these because I would edit them like maybe in like Photoshop or something so they fit your screen a little bit better because now I gotta like, I gotta edit the size of this window and it just goes back to the same. But here's how I have it in my mainstream here. Again, this is very minimal and that's how I like it. I feel like the game is the star of the show. I'm also just here and I've got my watermark at the bottom and I've got like a little follower goal and it's, but it's minimal, right? It's, it's small, it's to the bottom and it's a follower goal, it's not a sub goal. So subs cost money, follows are free. So that's cool to have like a little follower goal. You don't have to have that. So how I did this was, I know it's easier in Streamlabs, but I'm using regular OBS. So I just have this image file here so this is just an image that says follower goal slash 500. And it's this 160 that's dynamic. So I use a program called Stream Labels. And then when you use Stream Labels, what it does is it downloads your data from your Twitch stream and it shows you all of your current followers and it makes it a text file. And then you can just add this here. Let me double click properties. So this is the font and then you can just choose where it's pulling from. And then for me, like I have it pulling from the folder and then it's total follower count. And that's how it's getting that dynamic number there. You could do little things like that and make it fun for your stream, but it can be minimal and it doesn't have to be like really big. 
is the point that I'm getting at. Because when you go back to just like this like ridiculous stream, let's turn on all that crap again. Like it's just, it's too much. It's just like too much, like there's just too much going on and it's just, it's just distracting from the game. And the whole point is for people to watch you play the game. So that's why I feel like a minimal stream is a lot better. And there's, there's those YouTubers or there's those streamers out there like Harris Heller, like a bunch of them out there that will sell you these stream labels or these uh, overlays and stuff. Blech, you don't need that. Like you can literally make a lot of this stuff in pages on a Mac or like in preview. Like my little watermark at the bottom here, straight up, you can make that in pages. So all I did was I just made a black background so that way I can delete, I can like color out the black and then you just white font your at sign or what your tag is. And then you literally just Google search uh, Twitter logo white, Instagram logo white. Like, and then you get all these and you make them the same size. And then I can literally just, you can either just like do a screenshot And then once I have that screenshot open, so once I got this document open on my desktop, this is literally what I do. I do this with so many pictures and you don't even need Photoshop. You just click on this little edit button here and use this magic wand and then boom. I just took out all of the black in that picture. So all that's left is the white. You don't have to do this for the insides of the letters. I think it'll act, it would actually look better if I kept the black in there, but I'm, I'm just gonna do that. Um, and then now let's get rid of this uh, watermark that I have here and let's add that new one that I made. So we're gonna go plus sign. We're gonna choose image. Let's call it watermark two. Browse, it's gonna be on our desktop because that's where it's a screenshot basically. So let's, it's probably gonna be this one. It is this one, cool, open, done. And now we got this new watermark. So obviously that's way too huge. You wanna make it big enough to be seen. Great, cool. So now we've got our own watermark there. It's just that easy. You don't need special apps to do this stuff. So now I've got this stream and it's just way more pleasing to watch because again, the gameplay is the main character. You're there too as the talent. You're, you're sure you're the star of the show as well, but it should be about the gameplay and not about like a huge webcam picture of you. So I'll link in the description, the background that I use for my webcam here. So if we go here and we take the, uh, and I've got this camera border, so I'm gonna take my webcam off. So my camera border is a super simple square image with a white border on it. And you can change the color of the border, whatever suits your, your kind of color scheme better, but like a super minimal border it just makes it look that much better because when you take that camera border off and it's just the webcam, it kind of looks weird. Like the, the webcam kind of has no depth, but if you put that border there, I don't know, it just, it's just that little touch that just makes it look that much more professional. We've got our things minimal. You're probably asking like, what about my chat and what about my alerts? All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do some tests. I'm gonna show you what my alerts look like. So I do have an alert box. It's right here, it's centered, it's in the middle. Those you do wanna kind of come up and kind of like, it's a way of thanking the people that are following you or, or, or subscribing to you. So you kind of want that to be a celebration. So you want that to be a little bit bigger. So let's do a test follow here. All right. So yeah, so it's it's there, it's right in the middle, cool, a lot of fun. Okay, and you're probably wondering about my chat. So yeah, I keep the chat above my screen here, like above my webcam. And that way, again, it's not the main focus. I'm still interacting with the chat. I still have it show up on screen, but it's not so obtrusive. So I can just be like, hey, what's up everyone? And it comes up at the top here. You know what, like I could even move that a little bit higher. There we go. 
There we go, that looks a lot better. So yeah, so it just, it's nice, it's neat, it's out of the way, it's not obstructing the gameplay. Cause again, remember, the whole point of streaming video games on Twitch is to show off the game, is to show off your perspective of playing the game, how you like the game, etc. cetera. Uh, if you were like a just chatting kind of channel, then yeah, that's gonna be different because the whole focus is you and like what you have to say. You can dress up your background a little bit more. I would say if you're doing a just chatting channel, you should kind of have your own set in, in the background here. Like you should really dress up your background almost like a YouTube set. Because like honestly, like if I just, if I'm a just chatting channel and I've got like the current setup that I have right now, if I go from this to this, like, this is not ex <laughs> this is not exciting. This is a bedroom. This is a dude sitting at a desk in a bedroom. So you definitely want to dress this up. You definitely you got to have stuff on the walls. Like you like you can't have your bed in the background. You got to find an angle that's a little bit more presentable. And it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of trial and error. But it's something that's got to be done. I keep forgetting to look at the camera and I'm looking all around. So it looks like I'm not staring straight at you. I apologize for that. But yeah, okay, so this is like kind of like a longer, not very exciting flow of a video, but I just really wanted to share this with all of you who are just getting in the streaming game and you're on a Mac and like honestly, like you can do a lot of this stuff uh, without even downloading an extra program. All of this stuff I do, it's for free. Um, what I'll do actually is I will include in the description below like a free pack of maybe these uh, cam backgrounds. That way you don't even have to make it yourself. Woo! That was a long one. So I hope this really helped you out in stepping up your stream game. Hopefully you get something out of this and you're able to tweak your stream to look that much more professional. If you thought this was helpful, check out some of these other videos where I go over some how to's when it comes to streaming or just upping your stream game. That's gonna be it for me. I'm gonna head out of here. Just do me one more favor. Have yourself a great day. Cheers everybody.